here we are, attempting the Dark Souls of Coding Challenges. We'll start today with a fairly simple one, getting multiples of 3 and 5. So here's the problem statement. If we list all the natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of 3 or 5, we get 3, 5, 6, and 9. The sum of these multiples is 23. So the problem is, find the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below the provided parameter value number. At first glance, this seems more complicated than it actually is. For the purpose of learning, I'm going to be as verbose as possible and then refactor later. So let's break down the problem. So a natural number is the positive integers, whole numbers, 1, 2, 3, etc., and sometimes 0 as well. A multiple of x. Is 6 a multiple of 3 is a question we might be asking. So is 6 a number that can be calculated by multiplying 3 by a number, in our case, whole numbers. So 3 times 2 equals 6, so therefore it is. Now that we understand our problem, let's make some logical statements. So first, given a number, see if it is a multiple of 3. If it is, add it to a total number. Given a number, see if it is a multiple of 5. If it is, add it to a total number. So let's break it down into code. Again, this is very verbose. So let's start by establishing a global total and set the initial value to zero. Then we're gonna have to loop through all values from zero to our given number. So we'll make a simple for loop, let i is our iterator, we'll start that at zero. And while zero is less than or equal to our number, and we will iterate, we will add one to the iterator value on every loop. Now that we're looping through all the numbers, the first thing we need to do is we need to find out if that number is a multiple of three. And we can do that by using modulo. So I'll write this out and then explain it. So let remainder for three equals i modulos three, three. So that symbol in the middle of the expression earlier is the modulo symbol. Basically it's just what's left over after division. So if we take three modulo three, the remainder is gonna be zero. And that's because if you divide three by three, it equals one with a remainder of zero. Conversely, if we do 3 modulo 4, it's going to be a remainder of 3 because 4 divided by 3 equals 1 with a remainder of 3. So back to the code, all this is doing is it's checking to see, or it's going to get the remainder of this expression. So is 0 modulo 3 uh, a multiple of that number? So we're going to have to check that. So if remainder for 3 is equal to zero, that means that that number is a multiple of our number, and therefore we should add it to the total. So total equals total plus i. And now we repeat for five. So let remainder for five equals i modulo five. And then we have to check if either one of them is true. So or remainder for five equals 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 zero. And then finally, we need to return the total. So if we did everything correctly, this should pass. And it will not. And I'll tell you why. Because this actually needs to be less than the number, not including the number itself and we pass the test. This is all fine and dandy, but it's a little bit verbose, so we could probably shrink this down a little bit. So these, we can just take these expressions and we can put them right in here and get rid of this. And it should still work. Voila. Like most things, there's always room for improvement. However, I like how this is set up. It's simple and doesn't abstract too far far from what we're trying to accomplish. I'm certain if I come back to this in two years, I'll still know what's going on. If you'd like to see the code, check out my GitHub repo with all the problems that I've completed so far. Uh, you can find the link in the description. And if you got any suggestions on how to improve this, go ahead and throw them in the comments, and happy coding!